Rapper just defeated one of the most shining Indian talents, Eric Icy, with a move that was so unusual, telling us a lot about how we can play great chess in the future. So let us jump into the position after the opening, where he, with the next couple of moves, sets up the position to execute that beauty move that we're gonna see later. We come in after white plays b3 here, and we notice that white has the bishop pair here. That usually counts for an advantage here, especially now that white has the center as well. But what does black has in exchange? He has his bishop here, which has a threat down to the g2 pawn, which chains white's bishop to his pawn. And that's actually rather significant here, because white has difficulties developing that bishop. And here comes the good move, queen h4. The reason is that white actually wanted to play f3 here, because then he could get his bishop out. But that's illegal now. And instead, if he wanted to play g3, he's in a world of trouble on the long diagonal. Okay, white tried to find another solution by playing bishop b2. The idea is to play d5 and then put the bishop in prison. However, rapper escaped prison by playing bishop e4. Now White found out that actually that f2 pawn is rather weak because he wanted to cast along, but now the king is chained to that pawn. So you guys he had to defend that with queen d2. And here comes that unbelievable beauty move, which is g5. And it's so weird to call it a beauty move when it's so ugly. His point is to play g4 and to chain that bishop to defend that g2 pawn. And it makes total sense considering what we've been speaking about so far. But usually it's so ugly like you weaken your dark squares, you don't castle, you don't develop. Mm, what's going on? Or rather, why is this the future of chess? Because chess has become heavily based on context, simply because computer says that there are no ugly moves anymore, and the top players are really learning from these engines and the suggestions they're making, so they know that there are no chess rules anymore. There are no chess rules you must follow, it's all about what specific the position demands, and that's the future of chess. Here white played h3 and black played g4, and here white should actually accept his defeat on the king side. Let black win a pawn there, but meanwhile use the time to generate some counterplay on the queen side where he's the strongest. That's generally a good rule of thumb you can follow. Instead, Eric Geiser tried his hardest on the king side, and it really didn't work as you can see, like let's jump 10 moves ahead. White's position didn't change much. Black's did tremendously, as after f4, black is crashing through. Irigaisi tried f3 here, but then queen takes h5, won that pawn that Irigaisi was trying not to give. And then bishop f1, but then black could play rook c2 check. When the king moves, then queen comes down to h2 and the king is in a lot of trouble. So therefore, Irigaisi resigned. So that was probably a glimpse into the future of chess. If you want to avoid messing up in those endgames that even grandmasters mess up, then I can recommend that video. And uh, I'll see you in the next one.